Hello, thanks for joining us. The ground beef linked to an E. coli outbreak in Minnesota is now being recalled nationwide. The number of cases is also growing. The recall involves more than 167,000 pounds of ground beef that could be contaminated. At least 17 Minnesotans got sick, including two people who had to go to the hospital. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell has what you need to know. The Minnesota Department of Health says the cases of E. coli were traced back to ground beef served at Red Cow and Hen House Eatery. The restaurants have since gotten rid of the beef from Wolverine Packing Company, which has now been recalled nationwide. While the fresh products used by date has expired, the USDA is concerned some restaurants may still have the beef in their freezers and are urging them to check. And if you're eating out at a restaurant, you should order ground beef that's cooked again to the point where you're going to kill the bacteria that may be present. That's at least 160 degrees. U of M public health professor Craig Hedberg says it's a reminder to practice safe food handling too. Since October, E. coli has been linked to onions served at McDonald's, carrots and ground beef. Why does it feel like we're seeing more of these E. coli and foodborne illnesses. The tools we have to identify and investigate these outbreaks have really um, been improved in recent years. And so that means that we're better able to identify outbreaks that are occurring. And, and it, the reality is that, you know, 10 years ago, there may have been some of these events that never would have gone noticed. Hedberg says the outbreaks have led to changes in the food supply chain. As we investigate these outbreaks, we learn more about what companies need to do to prevent these conditions from happening. And, and hopefully we can reduce uh, the overall burden of illness associated with these food products. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Wolverine Packing Company said it notified customers who received the recall product, saying, we are also conducting an intensive internal audit to fully review suppliers and processes in place, including rigorous quality control measures to maintain the highest standards of production.